hi friends what's this application here i am just entering my any text this is test and i can use this plus and minus symbol to buttons these are buttons to zoom in and zoom out i can further zoom in and i can zoom out also by clicking this minus button so it is there again i can imp, uh, zoom in by clicking this buttons now i can even provide a slider here also where i can by just moving the slider i can zoom in or zoom out we'll see all this this is the simple template one label is there asking what's your name and one text uh, wizard is placed here here it is you will just run once and see how this looks so here it is to this we'll add our buttons and zooming facility so for that let me just first uh, declare the here i will declare the font so font one it's a list i am declaring so funds family times now size is 12 it's a default one and uh, you can use a italic bold or anything i am using normal so that i will connect it to our here it is test one now font equal to font one so that's that's uh, gives me the fixed one its size is 12 it's not increasing now now let me just add buttons b1 equal to tk dot button parent window is my w now <coughs> text here the text is i will just write a plus symbol and some command command equal to lambda now uh, my function then I have to tell which one is clear because two buttons will be used. So I am just passing to distinguish that I am passing one string here. Now that's all. This is the one for button I have. Now I will place it on the grid. B1 dot grid row equal to say earlier one it is row one. So below that row two and column equal to two. Fine. So that's uh, one button. Now the we'll just copy this and go for the second button. Second button. Let me just give B two, and I will. It will be zoom out. So I'll give the text as minus. Command instead of plus minus. I am just. This is to only to distinguish which button is clicked. Now again here it is B two row to column to the right of it so column is three now that's all now i have to write the function this function define my fun this is the function this will receive the uh, status or str1 i am giving what uh, what which button is clicked if str1 equal to uh, plus that means the user has clicked the button with the plus symbol if it is then font one which one this is the first element because it's a limit we are killing font one first element is the size equal to font one one whatever the size is plus two i am just increasing it by two so the value will go up by two you if you want it uh, it is the higher size it should increase by higher scale then you can move that it may increase the two to four or five else just let me copy this if it is not so that means the other one is clicked i am just minus fine that's all but think is i had to config again there so t1 dot uh, config now which one i will config now now i am saying font equal to font one so that's all now that that one will uh, will config and let's see now i am saving this this here i am just reconfiguring it every time the button is uh, clicked this i am reconfiguring so let's just run this and see here it is i am just giving this is a test now i will click this plus one see how it is zooming and now let's let me just move further and i can reduce it by clicking this minus also so this will be work like a zoom out i can integrate with uh, 
with any menu or anything whatever way i want i can just place it there now let me just use a i can use a slider also here so the by using the slider i can do that i will add a menu and through that i will command this uh, manage this zoom so for that i am just pasting one menu option here button here so this in this menu button i will add mb dot menu now dot add command here it is now label label equal to now what i will add uh, zoom let's say zoom plus plus or whatever text you want to give you can give it command equal to now the same thing uh, whatever i have written below the same thing i will equal to lambda lambda my fun my function i am using the same function and giving the plus so that's all now let me just see uh, how my zoom mean now one button only zoom plus i have written here it is now yeah it has appeared here now suppose i am entering a text this is test now i will use this menu zoom it is zooming now again i am zooming now i'll just a uh, minus one means zoom out i have to use so i what i will do i'll just copy this place it one more here i will write it zoom this is the label part and here i will say minus anything i can write it because in the inside the if condition i am just checking whether it is plus or not that's all let me just run this and see yeah so some text test now my menu zoom plus again once more plus now i will come to minus see i can see the minus now let us go for a slider remove the menu and just placing a slider here you can see here the scale is there so starting from 12 to 36 and our uh, orientation we are given horizontal and we are uh, executing a function fun 2 it is fun 2 so because for my function 1 is there already so we are uh, writing one more for this uh, scale so that is uh, now let me define that my fun 2 and it will receive a value so that value of the slider now what i will do i will uh, first let me just uh, read the value of it so i will say font one value one equal to now this time it is not incremented directly i am reading that one so my scale one this is the slider or the scale now get this value will be there now after this i will just copy this line and place it here so that's all my this will take the value starting from 12 to 36 now let me just run this and see how this here it is so let me just write some test this is test fine it's from 12 now i am zooming it out fine so this is 36 i have given the maximum i can reduce it all so that is how we can use a slider to change the zoom in or zoom out a text area that's all so we have tried all these three and uh, th this is the how this was a question actually was asked so we use this uh, sample script and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and request them to say uh, subscribe to our channel also and if you have any doubt question or suggestion use the comment section below to post it and thank you for watching and please subscribe